Hi, Ms. Lizzie from the Hedberg Public Library. Today, I want to share a rapid roundup of great winter vacation reads for upper elementary readers. I'm going to start off with a great <clears throat> classic Christmas story. This stands up well to the modern reader as well as to repeated readings. This is a story about the Herdman children, the absolute worst kids in the history of the world, according to our narrator. The Herdmans take over and create havoc with a small town church Christmas pageant. And in the process, manage to remind everyone about the true meaning of Christmas. It's a very fast and funny read. It's available, of course, as a book, but also as an e-book and e-audio book on both Hoopla and Overdrive, also a CD audio book, and it's even a DVD movie available through your library. Now, if you're looking for something a little more modern and diverse in a Christmas holiday read, try The Lotteries, More or Less, by Emma Donahue. Now, this family is a little different. There's two sets of parents, a grandfather, seven children, and five pets. And they all share one house together. They celebrate a vast array of different holidays in December. But when a big snowstorm comes and there's a power outage, they even have to leave their large house to stay in a shelter for a while. It disrupts all of those treasured traditions and it really upsets some of the children, especially a middle child, Sumac. And they have to start to work at letting go of their expectations and adapt and find new traditions for this unexpected year. Like many of us are doing this year for a different reason. This is available, of course, as a book, but also as an e-audio book on Hoopla. Now, Green Glass House by Kate Milford takes place over winter vacation at a rambling old inn called Green Glass House that is in a smuggler's town. Now, Milo is the adopted son of the innkeepers, and he's looking forward to a quiet holiday at the inn with just his parents. Usually, they don't have guests over the vac winter vacation. But instead, they unexpectedly have the whole inn filled up with these odd and secretive guests. And then things start going missing and stories abound about the history of Green Glass House and they seem to be related to the things that are going missing. Milo and Medi, the cook's daughter, are determined to, dis to solve the mystery of what is going on. This is a great book to curl up with on a cold winter day. It's available as a book, ebook on Overdrive, e-audiobook on Hoopla, and as a CD audiobook. Now if you're a fantasy fan and enjoy books like uh, C.S. Lewis's Narnia series, you are going to love this new book called The Barren Grounds by David A. Robertson. The author, David Robertson, is a member of the Norway House Cree Nation in Canada. And the two main human characters, the two children in this story are both Cree children. They are being fostered in the same home in Winnipeg. And they discover a portal into another world. Now this world is populated by animal beings that walk on two legs. And it has been winter in this world for years and years and years. And there's fewer animals to eat, there's fewer food to find in general that's really cold and bitter. The children join an expedition to free the birds of summer that have been stolen by a man, which is why it's winter all the time. Now the language and the whole worldview of this fantasy world uh, is Cree. 
So a little bit different than you might have encountered before, but really a wonderful story. It will introduce you to new words and concepts, and the children's adventures help bring them back to themselves, not only um, having confidence in their own self and what they can accomplish, but in who they are as Cree children. This is a brand new book and available just in book form. Now, perhaps just because it's winter in Wisconsin, it doesn't mean that you actually want to read about winter and cold. So a few other possibilities for you for a fast read that will leave you plenty of time to do other things like, I don't know, crafting? Try Fish Out of Water by Joanne Levy. 12-year-old Fish Rosner, he's having a really hard time. He has to come up with his bar mitzvah community project. It's supposed to be something that he really is important to him. Until finally, he realizes how much he loves the hand-knit socks that his grandmother makes him. He says it's like wearing hugs on his feet. And he wishes that other children had that same feeling. And so he decides that his project is gonna to be to learn how to knit, and to knit socks for other kids who need them. The only problem with this is that everyone, including his grandmother, says knitting isn't for boys. And Fish can't figure out why. He's got two hands, doesn't he? But he is determined to go against what everybody calls his girly interests and Embrace what he really likes and what he really wants to do to be able to accomplish his bar mitzvah project. This also is a new book and it's available just in book form. Now, if you are dreaming of greener days and enjoy stories about magic and families, try Hilary McKay's The Time of Green Magic. This is a story about a newly blended family, and they move into an old house that is magic. When you read a book in this house, you are literally transported into the world of that book. And sometimes, without you intending it, things come back out of the book with you into the real world like a cat-like thing that keeps growing and growing and growing and is not exactly tame and domesticated. The three new siblings bond together as a family as they try to figure out this magic and how to send this cat back to where it belongs in a book of prehistoric cave paintings. It's available as a book, as an ebook and e audiobook on Overdrive. Now, finally, for complete escapism, a superhero story that is set in scorching hot Nigeria, Africa. In Ikenga by Nnedi Okorafor, Namdi's father, the chief of police, was murdered. A year ago and it's still unsolved. Namdi is still grieving and he's angry when he meets his father's ghost at a crossroad and his father gives him an Ikenga, a little magic statue. And when he touches the statue, Namdi gets superhero powers. He turns into this Hulk-like being, this huge man of shadows who is really powerful and strong, but that strength is powered by Namdi's anger. Namdi tries to solve his father's murder while also putting down the crime in his small town, but in order to really be successful, he also has to learn how to control and properly channel his anger. This book is available as a book and as an ebook on Overdrive. I hope you will try one or more of these books 
over your winter break. And if you need more suggestions or none of these quite uh, grabbed you, feel free to stop by the library to call or email us and we would be happy to give you personal recommendations. Enjoy your winter break.